So, my name is Aaron Coleman. I'm an intern here at Philadelphia Young Playwrights in New York. Um, my name is Sarah Middledorf, and I am a teaching artist apprentice. Can you tell me more about this teaching artist apprentice? What do you do? What do I do? Um, the big thing for me is I'm trying to learn how to teach, um, teach playwriting, um, learn how this program works, and those sort of the two big things for me. Mm -hmm. Um, so I do a lot of observing in classrooms. Um, I try and help out with things around the office, programs that we're running. Um, do a lot of observing teachers. I've been really lucky to get to watch some just amazing teachers and just see what I can learn from them. That's cool. And how did you become an apprentice? Um, well, I applied. <laughs> um, and I saw the posting. It just looked really, really great. Um, it's, I love theater. I love education. Um, I was just like, wow, I can work on these two things at once? This is awesome. Um, and um, a number of things ended up happening, and um, I ran into Amy at one point, and um, it all just sort of fell together um, in a really wonderful way. <laughs> you mentioned that you like theater. What do you like about it? Oh, word. Um, <laughs> I mean, I think that there's something really special about what happens when you bring a lot of people together to do art. And theater requires that you bring a lot of people together to do art. Um, I love the ways that theater can express and the ways that theater is limited in its, exp in its expression, which may not be the most popular thing to say, but um, there's always something, there's always a limit in theater. And I love watching the ways that people find ways to, yeah. to create meaning through those through those limits of, of having an actual audience, of having a specific space in which the piece can occur, of having a specific script that they're working with. That's pretty cool. And how long have you been an apprentice? Um, not terribly long. Um, <laughs> I started in like sort of mid-January, I think. Yeah. All right, and uh, what do you like about working with the children? Um, word. I love, I love what that moment when you get someone new with, with a playwright, with a student, with another person. Um, and I've, I've had that happen a couple of times. And you feel like they've reached a new place, and through reaching a new place, they've brought you to a new place as well. And it's just... I don't know, it's just so exciting. I, and I've been able to experience some of that. I've been able to watch that happen. As I said, I've, I've been able to watch some amazing teachers and watching the way that they interact with the students and the way that they can really find something and, and to talk about and a way to talk that um, makes everyone feel like they're, they're sort of making some sort of progress in their lives. Um, so you talked about all the positive aspects of a TA apprentice. So are there any downfalls at all? Or well, I'm still in the honeymoon phase. <laughs> like, I mean, to be totally honest, it, I mean, as I said, I, I started fairly recently, so I'm still kind of, it still feels very new. Um, it's tough at times. Um, it's a lot of the schedule is up in the air a lot, and so there. Uh, my mother and I were joking about how I never know where I'm going to be ever um, in advance. And that can be wearing, mm -hmm. um, but it, you know, flexibility with your life is probably a good thing. It's probably something you need to learn. Um, it can also be emotionally difficult sometimes um, when you're in front of a bunch of students and you're working with a bunch of students and you're you're not sure what approach to take, and you really want to do right by them. Um, it can be unnerving. And that's just part of learning. That's part of learning how to do something that um, involves other people and involves caring about other people is that sometimes it's frightening. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was great. Good. <laughs>